The engines on the island of Sodor love doing their work. It makes them feel really useful. They like to be responsible, reliable, and really useful too. Bill and Ben work in the quarry moving trucks. Mavis shunts trucks at the quarry, although they would be very naughty indeed. Salty works at random docks, doing his jobs with the troublesome trucks, and the engines enjoy it. One day, Thomas was given the job of pulling trucks from the quarry. He liked that very much. On the way, he saw Duck. Hello, Duck! Today is a great day today. I'm sure having a lot of fun with those trucks, unless they are troublesome. Oh yes, Thomas. In fact, a new engine is coming down the island very soon. I better take these trucks away. And by the way, the engine's name is Nathan. He's a bully, and I really don't like him too. And by the way, I better be going now. Goodbye, Thomas. Well, good luck, duck. Well, I have a lot of work to do. Thomas was making good time as he puffed down the track. Just ahead, he saw Harvey. Hello, Harvey. But Harvey was clearing a broken tree branch from the line and back to where it was. I say, Harvey, you're doing really good. Say, everything is so good. Yes, indeed, Thomas. Now look at this. Someone's coming down the tracks. I think he will know what to do next, I guess. Just then, they saw a blue tender engine coming down the track. He didn't look friendly at all. Hey, that must be Nathan! That must be, Thomas. You got that right. Just ahead, Nathan came thundering down the tracks. He came closer and closer to Thomas and Harvey as soon as he could. Hey, get out of my way! And Nathan bumped into Thomas so hard. What was that? Nathan reversed back. That's what I do. I treat engines like this and younger engines sometimes. Sometimes they are too scared for me. Well, believe it or not, I'm taking these trucks down the line as soon as possible. Well, we'll see about that. Now, I've got important work to do so no one would notice. The other engines were shocked and horrified. They did not trust Nathan, to, Nathan at all. And so Nathan puffed away. Thomas wished away too. Thomas was making good spirits as he shunted the trucks back to the yard. <sighs> this is hard work. And then, the next day, Thomas was so excited when Nathan bumped into him again. Oh my! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna cry now? Thomas wasn't going to cry. He was so nervous about them. <clears throat> It was Gordon, Henry, and James. They had to stand up for Thomas. Nathan, 
What is the meaning of this? Why did you bump Thomas so many times? You must leave him alone. We are big engines, and you are nothing but trouble. Gordon's right. You know, Nathan, when you bump engines hard, they get so nervous. And that's what you get one of these days. Yes, when the fat control hears this, he might tell you off when you cause a lot of trouble, I guess. That's what we have to say to him. Thomas felt nervous. He didn't know what to do. He was so thinking about this. He felt that Nathan had bumped into him so hard. So, Thomas reached away. So sadly, Nathan grinned. Later on, Nathan moved a little bit, then closer and closer, and he bumped into Thomas once more. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Thomas rolled into a shed. Ow! He did that on purpose. Oh my gosh, this is so disappointing. I guess I'll have to speak to the fat controller about this. Ha ha ha! That's why you know, Thomas. Maybe next time I would push you into the sea. That evening, Thomas spoke to the fat controller all about Nathan. He pushed me in, into the back of the shed. I wasn't damaged, but the crane put me back on the rails. Oh my, sir, it really wasn't my fault. I know, Thomas, and so does everyone else. But you really know that I will be talking to Nathan first thing tomorrow. And after that, I will send him packing. And I'll send him back to his original railway where he belonged. Oh, thank you, sir. That would be delightful. I could never appreciate that. Early the next morning, the fat controller spoke severely to Nathan about shunting Thomas into the back of the shed. And after that, he sent him home in disgrace. Nathan was glad to be going back to his original railway where he belonged. Oh my gosh, it serves me right for pushing him into the shed. And after that, Thomas was going back to pulling goods again. Good morning, Percy. Good morning, Thomas. Oh, right. I see, Nathan's now been sent away in disgrace. We could never have a bully on Sodor again, that's for sure. You got that right, Thomas. We always have to be really useful engines, now and forever. That's right, Percy. Now Nathan's been sent away, and there'll be no more trouble. Forest engines whatsoever.